Hello there, and welcome to another live comp with the flying bird. Oh no, boys and girls, we're live coming again. Let me think it very angry. Oh, good for you guys, not for me. We're playing uh, Blazing Squad. He's undefeated. He uh, has one of the best records in the PGL ever. I looked at the other day. I think he won the NU Cup or something like that. Um, I've just sent the challenge to him, so hopefully he'll, he'll accept my challenge. Now, I don't have any Pokemon. I just have... Yeah, uh, what's what are they called? Um, I need to pick a team, but I don't know how to. <laughs> when you battle against a player who has Sun and Moon, decide myself. Cat said I could do this in there, so please load battle rules. It's just standard, single battle. Confirm normal rules. Do, 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 do. Now, okay, uh, how do I, is there a switch or something? No, oh, this is what cats mean. So we have Drodigan, he's a king, King Drods. Thank you. We have Randy, as always. We have Verd, the Tornadus, but he can't be Tornadus today. He has to be in a Pokeball. And that's meant to be Cos, but then he named it safe. So I don't know what I'm doing. And then we have Daneki. Good job, Daneki. I don't have a lot of, uh... Yeah, I like to quit operating boxes, please, mate. Just add enough of that. Yep, perfect. Confirm. We battle the team, your team four. Team four star, everyone. Welcome to the Bridge series. Oh, yeah, we've got Z Hydro Cannon. <laughs> oh, I just thought it'd be funny. My opponent brought, like, Hyper, Hyper Beam still going last week. So I'm going to up, up, one-up him. This is meant to be from a man that's meant to be undefeated. Oh, actually, let me look at his record. I think it's... I think it's 3-1-V-4-0. So, we got, we got the up pair this week. We like a little bit of an up pair sometimes. Just just because it just helps a little bit. Just knocks you out. Just perfect. Let's look at the PGL website. Now, please don't tell me I'm dropping frames. Panah. That's quite good. Now, this video is dedicated to my favourite uh, cause, Battle Dolphin getting his piece so we can unlock Super Smash Bros character Falcon, because you need to access it by car in World of Light. Congratulations, Battle Dolphin. You're a pug on, pug boy. Um, now, this week, I don't know what we're doing. Um, I'm just waiting for my opponent. Uh, how do I go to statistics? There's the one. Because it's a website. Hmm, another bird's Pokemon are anywhere near the kills and death ratio. <laughs> Oh, apparently Mega Sizzle has six. Haha, <laughs> that's funny. I like Mega Sizzle, he's funny. Please like participating Pokemon. No, I'm just not going to it, right? Yes! Yes! He didn't bring Greninja in. Actually, shit, what is my answer if he leaves Z Belly with a zoom roll? Ah, uh, shit. <laughs> if he does, we just pray. But we're not going to do that. We're just going to lead. Actually. Does he try to be cheeky? This year you got with Z Belly Drum. Which everyone knows people will run. Is that you can't really do anything about it. Because they, they get the plus 6. And then it's like. Ah sweet. I'm still 50%. And it's like. Thanks. Thank you. Can I cry yet? Can I? Am I allowed to have a cry? So actually, yeah, no stuff. We're, we're going to lead Greninja. If you like, he should realistically lead Rotom Frost. And like, oh, I don't know. If he leads Rotom Frost, we just go out into Daneki. But um, yeah, Z Belly Drum is Emerald. Absolutely, just mercs my team. Alright, uh, because we didn't bring our good power of Vaporeon. Which we probably should have looked in back in hindsight, but we just decided against it. I'm hoping, like, turn one, like, this could be gunk shot. Oh, did I make sure my Greninja's not Protean? <laughs> oh, phew, it's time. Thank goodness for that. Greninja. Now, yeah, does he lead with the Z Azumarill? Heart filler. That's a ball. Oh, perfect. This is Z Hydro Cannon. <laughs> This will Oko unless it's Pasho Berry. <laughs> I 
which it probably would be, I'm not gonna lie, but even then, Hydro, Z Hydro Cannon and Hydro Cannon again into Azumarill drops it. <laughs> this is why we brought Hydro Z Hydro Cannon. If, um, I didn't think he would be Pasha Berry, I think he's more likely to be Berry Berry. Um, but even then, you just don't know with some players. <laughs> We also still have like a lot of good ones in the back. Like Greninja is just there to, to break a few things. Its main thing is going to be annoying is going to be that Mega Hound Doom. I didn't optimize my Tapu Koko EV spread. Oh no, I did. I made it modest. Does it even outspeed Mega Hound Doom at level 50? I think he just like sets up his Rock's Eternal Moonblast or does something silly. Uh, where do I go to speed tease? So what's Tapu Koko at level 50? So how speed Mega Hound? One eight two. How long does this Wi-Fi players take to make a move? It shouldn't be that hard. Mega Hound. Let's see no berry. Let's see no berry. This KOs all the shitty ones. <laughs> this is like a one o six map min. Hydro Vortex. Yes! We got it, boys! Weeper did it. And then we have to go over the... But Dark Falls, mate. 3-6. Now go check out level 50. We do not have an answer to... To see Belly Drum. Franklin, that sounds like a... Oh, sweet. One eight three. Oh crap! We do we marked out our speed speed creep. Um So that means we need to keep Greninja alive then. We don't really have a fire answer on our team. So I think we're going into Daniki here. Uh this Franklin the Turtle. He's pretty good. Nicholas Bingham likes Franklin. He thinks it's funny. But I don't. But it is Stealth Rock, sweet. We're gonna set up our own rock. We're gonna set up our own rocks here. Um, actually, Anna Crossman doesn't have a way to hit. Doesn't it have Power Gem? No, it doesn't. <laughs> um, but then again, with Hydro Cannon, we can uh, O code the uh, Hound Doom. So we're gonna set up our own rocks here. What does the uh, Torque go for? Is it gonna go for a uh, Toxic? Oh, yawn. That's very weird. <laughs> That's very, very weird. Um, if he's gonna yawn anything, what do I want yawned? I'm going to Druddy in here. Going to the boy, three foot X. Cause like, life or bulldoze is gonna do a lot. So we are faster. A rapid spin, interesting. And this is, oh, a crit. And then like, what? Why doesn't this thing, does he have any flying Pokemon? No. Actually, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna go for bulldoze here. What do we go for fire punch? Trying to be cheeky. No, it's gonna go for bulldoze. I reckon he tries to bring in like deciduous or something. I don't think he's gonna bring in the Rotom frost because I don't know, just don't. Like realistically, he probably should go for another yawn. But we're just stalling out some turns here, and that's all that matters to me because that means Mega Houndoom cannot be as effective as it wants to be. And Bulldoze is going to do a lot to any, like, Franklin thing here. And so he's revealed that he is Stealth Rock, Rapid Spin, Yawn, probably Flamethrower. So Greninja is just going to get more spikes up. And once we start getting the spikes train up, we're going to start just being funny. <laughs> uh, now, the interesting thing is, Tapu Koko, <laughs> what ounce speed is Mega Hound? But also, it's important to note, that his Rotom Frost has to go for blizzards in the sun. So this Bulldoze here is going to do a lot. Um, the other thing as well is he can't go into Rotom Frost in case it's Rock Slide, so Bulldoze... Yeah, that's good. I like that. Yawn. He doesn't have any recovery. Oh, it's Leftovers. Oh, interesting. 
Now, the question is, do I want to let my thing go to sleep? I think I do. And the question is, do I gunk shot this turn? Trying to beat the tryhard read that I am, and trying to catch this Azu on the switching. Yeah, I think I am. I'm gonna go for gunk shot. If Drudigan goes to sleep, that's fine by me. And he goes out into Killer Frost, which is the Rotom Frost. We go for a gunk shot here. So, I nearly got the play right. Don't kill, don't kill, don't kill. Sweet. <laughs> Did not want that to kill. Okay, so this is leftovers as well. Um, that's important to note because that means that we lost probably one of our quote-unquote best ways to Oko and Azu. He's probably going to go for Blizzard this turn. Uh, Blizzard, Blizzard, Blizzard. What's my answer to Blizzard, 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 Blizzard? Um, we're going to go into Coco here. Uh, how much does Rotom Frost of Blizzard do to non optimize <laughs> Oh, goodness me. The Flying Bird 14. Not a big fan. <laughs> we just put, like, to sleep one of our best quote unquote Azu killers. Because we're like, let's make a prediction! Um. I think we just. Hmm. Yeah, much time? I got 50 seconds. Sticks, do you know how much Tapu Koko takes from a Blizzard? Ask him for a friend. Tapu Koko, Rotom Frost. No, oh, Blizzard is 63%. Uh, let's go out into this thing again. Unless this is going about rocks. <laughs> just a little more, Daniki, just a little more. Sub, no, so sub pain split. Interesting. But. It doesn't worry me. <laughs> because I'm just going to get my rocks up this turn. <laughs> I should have been Power Gym over Heatwave, but I was scared of Buzz Swall. T Bolt. That'll do nothing because we're like max for death. Yeah, so they did nothing. So we now get my rocks for free. And the main thing is, we we now just limit everything on his team because of this play. Like, I can understand the sub play and all this, but like, I don't know. Knowing my luck, I will get frozen or paralyzed. I still think my opponent's probably well, like, what happened turn one? Why did I lose a Diancy? <laughs> and I'm just there like, oh god. That's what I said, it's dedicated to Battle Dolphin. He's like, oh god, oh god. Now, he is limiting his own health, which is good for me. I'm just gonna Moonlight this turn though. Like, unless he goes down into Decidua, that's fine. I think he's trying to set me up so that his Azumarill can come in for free and go for the Z Belly Drum. Because my team doesn't have that many answers for it. Uh, now the question is, how much do I need to do to an Azu? <laughs> um, because, as I said, the Z Belly Drum is essentially free against me. Uh, now, Rotom Frost, how much do you take from Tapu Koko's Dazzling Gleam? Because I think I'm going to hard go into... Tapu Koko here, so I'm guessing I'm 38%. And we're modest, so that's gonna do more. Yeah, so I'm gonna go in Coco here just because I don't want to allow his uh Azumarill to come in for free at any one stage in this game, because if the Azu can come in for free, you can effectively beat like Z belly drum up and win. And I think that's what he's trying to do here. He's like, okay, this Necrozma can't beat my um Like this Necrozma here it can't beat my uh, Zoomerals, so I'm gonna try to sack off my Rotom Frost, whereas I'm like, nah, not happening. If he does make the read and gets me with a Blizzard, he gets me with a read. But, in saying that, he has gone for t bolt for like the last five turns, and I've just shown that I do not care. And I think he's gonna try to make the aggressive play into their Zoomeral, but uh, we will we'll see. <laughs> he withdrew, what'd he go out into? Franklin, that's a turtle thing. 
So we did make a good read there because now. How much does Tapu Coco's 252. <laughs> Oh, to are you talker? It was fifty three percent. So this means this is a free volt switch this turn. Um, and then I can go right into Greninja, and then Greninja. Two Mega Hound. How much does Hydro Pump do in the sub? Okay, so that's something to be considered considerable of, um... Tapu Koko... Because I really want to keep my rocks up this game. Tapu Koko to... when it's modest. Okay, that can kill after rocks. By the looks of things. I'm actually going to T-Bolt this turn. Let's see what he wants to go in into. He withdrew the Franklin, which is... I thought was going to happen. Green Arrow, yeah. And this is the, uh, Decidueye. Which I should have Volt switched on, um, that would have given me a lot of momentum, but in saying that, that's fine by me, because this thing takes a little bit of damage. <laughs> that's what I want, like to see. <laughs> now this could potentially be Scarf Decidueye, but uh, it doesn't really worry me, whatever it is. I think it's going to be Pro Roost this next Roost this turn. Um, and my Mega Scizor, how much does it need to be at Scizor Mega? Oh, it's Tailwind. Interesting. So that means he's got three turns left. Hmm. Mega Sizzle. At plus two, how much does Bullet Punch do? To Mega Hound him. Not a lot. But I want to stall out these Tailwind turns. So I'm going to sword Sam's this turn. <laughs> this is why I could have HP 5. <laughs> we could have walked straight into a trap. But um, I don't really care. Just want to stall out these Tailwind turns. Okay, he does make the switch. And into Franklin. Which will be the uh, Torkoal. So Mega Scissor at plus 2 to Torkoal with Bullet Punch. That was 15%. And even then, Torkoal's max speed. From memory, red is like 8%, but it looks like from here that... Unless Torkoal was like 252, it wouldn't outspeed me. Um, which I'm fine with actually, because... Okay, tail in turn number two. So he's going to then try to bring in the Mega Houndoom, which then drops after rocks because the, the damage now done to his team means that. Um, okay, let me think about this for a second. Cerebi Red. <laughs> I honestly think the play here is to Bullet Punch, just because it's safer and it should KO. So I'm going to Bullet Punch this turn. And I think it's going to just take it out. If it doesn't, it doesn't. Sweet, it takes it out. So that's a good sign for me, because that means that my rocks are here to stay. I still haven't even set up my spikes. He also does have the Azumarill, which um, doesn't want to take a Azumarill. How much does it take from a plus two Aerial Ace? <laughs> Firestorm, that's a Mega Houndoom. Which I predicted. <laughs> So, a plus two bullet punch does nothing. Mega Houndoom doesn't get like agility, does it? It does get flame charge though, which could be bad. Uh, <laughs> now this is a question. <laughs> Left or right? Um, I do think that this turn Mega Houndoom into Greninja. Because we don't actually have a choice to go from one this week. 
Okay, so it looks like that Greninja is safe to go into here. Um, yeah, I think Greninja is the more ex most expendable member on the team. Okay, let's go Greninja. Uh, his tailwind will end next turn, which is fine by me. We do need uh, Coco for the, uh, what's it called, the, uh... We need Coco for the Azuma. And everything's slowly putting itself in range of it. So Fire Blast, that's fine. We avoid. Tailwind pesters out. Oh, now we, ne now we have to hit. Now the question is, do I think he's going to switch? Azuma's the only one he hasn't shown yet. And I think... Azumarill, Greninja, Azumarill. I think from memory, Hydro Pump into Hydro Cannon. Should KO Azus. Oh no, it was a Z move into it. Hmm. So, I think, actually, as weird as it sounds, Azu at plus... Azu will get a plus 6 on this Greninja freely. Um, now, two Hydro Pumps will put it in a nicer range for us, but it doesn't put it in the range we want it to be. So the question is, what, how do I limit this? Uh, that's such a hard question to think about. Um, because I really don't have anything besides... Question is, do I think he's going to make the plane? I think I'm going to spike this turn. Sweet. What's he go for? HP Grass? Destiny Bond. Okay. He can't Destiny Bond twice in a row. But that means we're just going to set up another layer of spike. Actually, we KO. We KO this. And then we can go into Coco and win, I think. Because he is slower. Um, Azu to Coco. Oh, you Shockerberry. I wish we were fat right now. We have nothing um, for this. So I think we're going to Hydro Pump. Actually, what's more accurate? Uh, 80. Hydro Cannon's 90. So we're going to take the double KO this time. We get a kill with Hydro Cannon! And this should be Destiny Bond. Please tell me this takes me out with my own Destiny Bond. Sweet. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> now we go into Coco here. Because Azumarill cannot go for E. Tapu Koko Thunderbolt after a layer of... Because we're actually modest. So, Green Arrow. I think the Spikes may pick it up. Sweet. Greninja again. Yeah, so he does have the extra sack, but I think this should be game because of just... Greninja me, Greninja. Oh my goodness me. Could we take this? Can we take this? This is, this is being good. I really am liking this positioning because of the way in which we've obtained this positioning and Greninja with the Hydro Cannon hit. Oh man, I feel so sorry for um, Blazing Arrow, but uh, he did make the, he did try to make the cheeky play as I spiked, so I was going to always take advantage of that. And he's now down to his Azumarill, and also his uh, Rotom Frost, which will be about at 10%. Bugs Bunny. So he, that is the Azumarill. I don't think this is Walt Conberry. So I think I'm just freed here to fire off a Thunderbolt. And just hopefully finish in the game here. If not, we'll have to rely upon Mega Sizzle going for the... Uh, going for the uh, Bullet Punch into this, but hopefully Azumarill should die to any Thunderbolt. And it can't go for a Valley Drum. Um, because of just how much damage a modest Coco will do. Um, yeah, I think he sort of misplayed, but uh, we, we knew the way. <laughs> we knew the way. The uh, Hydro Cannon damage roll has really helped out. 
And that's sort of why Z anything is quite deadly for most players, is because they just sometimes don't know what you are running on that Z crystal slot. It's why abilities like Frisk are so much better in leagues like this format structure, where, you, where the op opportunity to run any Z move is absolutely terrifying. Z moves are something that have helped offensive teams so much that it cannot be like placed in a, like a quantifiable number on. And what I've really enjoyed about my team this season is being the amount of mons I can use with uh, with sort of anything. So more so like for example, okay, Tapu Koko could be a Z captain this week, but it's not. It's modest and birds bad. <laughs> how do how do I, how do I ever win games? It's a question of a lifetime. Answers on a postcard. <laughs> Um, you know, we, we, we pressure to things. I think Tapu Koko gets three, Greninja gets three again, because Greninja is just a boss. Sets up my spikes for me. You know, like, Tapu Koko got the Azu, it also, oh no, Sizzle got one. Sizzle got the, uh, the, the Torko. I think this is a 5-0 win, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it's 5-0, so... Yeah, we're doing well at the moment in the PGL. Um, I'm pretty proud of it. Thank you, Blazing, for an amazing game. Um, he did play well. I do think that he, he did put himself in a disadvantaged position by going for that Destiny board. I think he just tried to avoid the 6-0, which he did, which some players see as an accomplishment. However, I do think that the overarching, uh, the overarching thing of any game is to win it, and I'm very proud of myself that I'm now 3-1. And uh, we will save a battle video of this. And uh, until next week. Ooh, actually, who do we take on next week? I think we're getting close to Max Rapture. Max Rapture, for me, is like the penultimate week. Uh, he is my week 8 opponent. But let's have a look at the PGL tiers. Let's just go back. So, I, I, I want one comment, as always. Um, big fan. That, that's the comment I want. If you've somehow, like, made it to the end of this video, write big fan so I know that you're a big fan because I am a big fan of you guys that stick around. Uh, let's have a look. Team New South Wilmers. Submit. Uh, what is our... Who is our next week opponent? Oh, we play the Silmar Sylveons, coached by... Coach by Sharpedo43. Alright guys, until next time, big fan catcher.